five. So there are two digit numbers here. Just pick any five of the numbers and mention the number names for me. Eighty-eight, mm -hmm. ninety-seven, eighty-six, fifty, seventy-seven. Okay. Let's move to the next. These are three digits numbers. Select five and mention the number names. Three hundred and twenty-five, six hundred and sixty-six, four hundred and two, eight hundred and eighty-one, five hundred and ninety-one. Okay. All right. Have okay, a sheet. Okay. Uh, we have two columns. These are addition questions and subtraction questions. Which one do what you want to start off first? Addition or subtraction? I would like to take addition. Okay, so select any two of the of the sums and then you write them and solve them for me. Okay. Any two of them. Okay, so now let's do, let's select two of the subtraction problems and solve them in the same way as you have done the first. Okay, so there are other two columns. These are multiplication questions and division questions. Which one would you want to start with? I would like to take the multiplication. Good. So pick any two and then kindly just one. Just pick one of the so Just one multiplication question. Okay. Any of them? Okay, and please pick one division question. Anyone? Yeah. Division. Sir, please, I'm done. You're done. Okay. All right. So, let me thank you very much. Yeah, well, and well done. Well done. Right. Bye bye. Lord, appear. Yes, sir. Come over. How are you, Lord? I'm fine. Good. Now, put your pencil down and bring your hand. Good. Sanitize your hand. And since we have observed the COVID protocols, let's remove our marks also. As you were earlier told, we are going to put you in teams in your class to learn through play. And for me, to get to know which particular team you can play with, I'm going to help you do a short exercise so that I'll be able to tell the particular team that you belong to. Are you ready? Good. Now, this is English, okay? We are going to do reading. Now, I want you to start from here. Read what you see here. This is Mm -hmm. Lord, point to the words here, any five of them, and pronounce them. 
Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. Okay. Come over here to the letters. Select any five point and then mention the sound that the letters make. Thank you. Now we will go to the mathematics. Okay? Over here we have two digit numbers. Point to any five of them and mention the number names. 99, 78, 11, 87, 64. Now let's come to the three digit numbers. Point to any five of them and mention the number names. 320. I want you to point it. 320. 212, 450, 660, 660, 665. Good. Now, over here, we have addition and subtraction. Which one would you like to do first? Addition. You want to do addition. So, I'm going to give you a sheet of paper. Okay, copy any one of them and do it for me. Okay, copy another one. Yes. Okay, Lord, thank you very much. We will meet again in the classroom. Bye bye. Okay, here you are. There you go. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You set. Okay. Hello, colleagues. Welcome back. As I did indicate, we're going to take you through the process. The process, as you are rightly observed, has just ended, and we seek to give you the feedback from the process we observed together. What we're going to do basically is to explain to you what we observed and what you observe as well, and how the learners have been placed. So my colleague will start off uh, with the first assessment conducted. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bernard. I conducted assessment for basic three learners. And I assessed Al Hassan Sebila two. And I used version one of the assessment tools. That is for both English and mathematics. I began with the English assessment too. She was able to read the paragraph fluently. But when we got to the story, she was hesitating in reading. 
therefore i place here in level 3 as a paragraph reader then we went on with the mathematics assessment i also use the version 1 of the math assessment tool for number recognition her highest was three digits for addition i checked can because she was able to do both for subtraction i checked cannot because she was able to do only one therefore in level placement i placed alasan sebila to in level two i'll hand you over to my sister kukua to take you through her assessment thank you eric now this means that alas and sebila too will be in level three for language level two mathematics i assessed alexander pepra same basic three he was not able to read the paragraph and so he was brought down to word. At word level, he couldn't mention any of the words. And so we moved him to letters. At letters, he was just pointing at them. He still could not mention any letter names. So we placed a letter up paper in level one, a beginner. Then we went on to mathematics. Over there, we still placed him at the beginner level because one digit numbers, he was able to mention only three. So we take cannot. Couldn't have gone on to two digits. We gave him opportunity though, but he could not do any. So, cannot, cannot brings him back to beginner level. And so, for both mathematics and English, Alexander Pepper is a beginner. Still in level one. Let me continue with upper primary and for that I think Bernard will begin and then Eric will also continue. Okay. So I says Chimfo Nyame Yakese. Uh eleven year old girl. I use version three of the language assessment tool. Uh in terms of reading she was able to read the paragraph fluently. She read the good pace. She read and did not make any mistake. We move on to the story. And she read the story. Her sentences read without any mistake. She read it fluently. And so she was placed uh, in terms of the, uh, the reading, the story reader, in level three. We went on to do the math. The highest in terms of number recognition, three digits. She was able to do solve two addition problems and two subtraction problems as well. So she was able to do addition and subtraction. We move on to division and multiplication. She solved one problem in division correctly and another problem in multiplication correctly. Uh, I place her in level three. So it means that Chinto Nyamiyekese 